Good afternoon. Welcome to this beautifully hot day. I want to thank everybody for being here, especially our VFW 598. Always appreciate what you do. Thank you as well, Belmont ROTC, and obviously Holiday at Home. Um, we would not be here if it wasn't for our awesome veterans who give us freedoms like no other for us to celebrate this Holiday at Home. Out here on 48, we're along the Memorial Highway where we dedicated just recently, about um, a year ago, to Sergeant uh, Thomas and Lannon and their service to us. Um, we should never lose sight of what not only those two gentlemen, but all of that serve us have done for us to give us our freedoms that we do have. Um, Kettering is known for our traditions and appreciation for our veterans. And so I appreciate that everyone is here to help us raise this flag. I'll do a quick acknowledgement. I have with me today our uh, City Council, Brian Suddeth, Bob Scott, City Manager, Matt Greeson, and our State Rep, uh, Andrea White. And I'm Jackie Fisher, our Vice Mayor, Mayor in for Peggy Laner, who is out of town. So I just again want to thank everybody for being here and uh, take a moment over this weekend to reflect of why we're here and what it's all about. And it's to appreciate not only our veterans and the service they gave, and to enjoy the traditions that we have here in Kettering, Ohio. My name is Patsy Martin and I'm a member of the planning committee for Holiday at Home. Today you're going to meet six people that are volunteers. I have here Jennifer Weiner, and she is the Vice President of Holiday at Home. Hi. Hi. Um, Jennifer, what is your role in, in Holiday at Home this year? Well, um, as the Vice President, I help um, the President with anything that she may need help with, as well as any tasks that 
if she's overloaded, I will help her and do those in, in place for her. So you answer text messages mm -hmm. and emails, yes, right? For exactly. Her if she gets overloaded. <laughs> Validated secretary. Yeah, you, you know, I I <laughs> I, I uh, didn't say this, but you uh, you will be the president next year. Yes. 2025. Yes. And she's organized. She's already got a theme for next year, but she can't tell anybody. And. Uh, so it's it's all kind of like hush hush. Hush hush. Tough secret. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so uh, anything else you'd like to add? So holiday at home means family time to me. So come out and have fun and enjoy the arts and crafts and activities and the food. It'll be fun. Okay, and now we have the 2024 holiday at home, Grand Marshal Bruce Duke. Hi, Bruce. Pam, good to see you, Patsy. Good to, good to see you. Bruce, would you like to tell us what it means to be chosen as a Grand Marshal? Uh, well, I will tell you, it's a very humbling honor. Um, I've lived in Kettering for 50 years. Wow. I've been to Holiday at Home virtually every year, and the citizens of this community that have been selected as a Grand Marshal are people that have shaped this community all those years. To be considered one of them or to be considered with that group is just a, a humbling honor, oh. and I'm grateful. There are so many other people that are worthy of this honor. I'm glad I got it. I will respect it and I thank the committee. Great. So uh, you've done so much for the, for the community. What is it about Kettering that you like the most? The people. Um, when we came to Kettering 50 years ago, I won't tell Bory with the story, but we purchased a home from, a, from an attorney who was very active in this community, and we purchased it on a handshake. Wow. There was no contract ever written. There was no earnest money ever given. Uh, he looked at me and said, I trust you, and I said, I trust you, and that's how we came into this community. And since that time, I've worked with thousands and thousands of citizens over the years. And that conversation that I had 50 years ago typifies this community. Great citizens, great people. Uh, in my experience, honest, hardworking. They care about Kettering. It's a safe community. We have great schools and look at what we're celebrating this coming up weekend holiday at home correct we adopted that logo years ago kettering is home and a holiday at home to me signifies people getting together family staying in town you know all around the country people escape their town when they have a holiday we stay here. We celebrate. It's 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 a it's a great community. Great. Well, well we're glad to have you as Grand Marshal. Thank you. And can't I'm wait honored. for you to experience the whole process. Oh yes. It's so far. It's been great. Yeah, we've had a lot of back and forth uh, talk, talks yes, too, we haven't have. we? But we're th we're getting it all straightened but, out. But I know that the planning for this starts the day after Labor Day, and literally, it takes a year to pull this event off. Yeah. There are so many things for people to do, so many pieces that have to fit together, and so many community volunteers help out. Yeah. Well, thank you, Bruce, and looking forward to seeing you at the parade and all around the oh, it'll parade. Be, it'll be fun. It will. The only thing I really work hard for is weather. <laughs> yes, yes, that's, right. That's the Grand Marshal's responsibility. That's right, that's right. Well, you'll have to talk to Jamie Drosick about that. I'll, well, she was last year's Grand Marshal. It's hard to beat, but, you know, Jamie will get it done. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Patsy. Now we have one, another important person that uh, is in charge of the parade, Ed Kanan. Hi, Ed. Good morning. Here okay. we are Monday morning, and the weather is bright and sunny on uh, Far Hills Avenue in Kettering, Ohio. 
great. And how many um, how many entries do you have for the parade this year? We've got 120 this year. So we've got four bands, uh, live music, um, 120 entries, like I mentioned. We probably got 15 entries for the veterans. And wow. we have a special guest star this year, Gary Sandy from WKRP in Cincinnati, movie star, TV star. He'll be in town the whole weekend to spend with us. He was nice enough to join us for the weekend, and he is a Fairmont West graduate. I didn't know that. You're teaching me something. Well, see, you know now. But yeah. Any new new things besides Gary Sandy and? We've got the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile as one of our great sponsors, thanks to Kroger's, and we haven't had that in the parade for many, many years, so it's going to be kind of a neat thing to have that back in. We are going to have a flyover by the Wright B Flyer, the, the white bird is what they call it, and that's going to be up in the sky for us. So a couple of new things, and we've got some local celebrities, TV, radio, that are going to be in the parade as well this year, and a couple of humorists. Thank you. Anything else you want to say about the parade? Just come and... Just come, come early. I'll be there at 4 in the morning. Show up, bring your chairs. Uh, like I said, 4 in the morning I'll be there, and um, come early and stay late. And there's also a festival, if, if they haven't talked about it, after the parade at Lincoln Park on Sunday and Monday, pretty much 10 to 5 both days. And the parade begins at 9.55. 9.55. Be there or be square and bring your smiles along. Thank you, Ed. Next we have Anthony Trimble. Anthony Trimble and Anissa, his wife, uh, run the 5K. Anthony, is it too late to register for the 5K? It's not. You can register for the 5K all the way up to the race start on really? Monday morning. And what time is that? The race starts at 8 a.m. And the kids' run starts at 7.50. Okay, so that's what I was going to ask you next. The kids are permitted to run. Do they yep. pay a fee? Nope. We have a free kids' run, so the kids can come out and run for free, and that kicks off the weekend festivities. Wow, that's great. So how many people do you have registered for the 5K now? Uh, we'll have a couple hundred runners for the 5K. And wow. then uh, it depends on the weather, but with the kids run, we usually have 30 to 40 kids run. Wow, that is great. Anything else you'd like to tell the viewers about the... 5K? Uh, yeah, you can still register. It's an awesome course because you get to run down 48 and Stroop and finish right on the street. And yeah. then afterwards, we're having sweet peas popsicles, so all the runners get a sweet peas popsicle wow. afterwards. Can, the, can people that are not runners get them? Uh, I was no. talking about myself. <laughs> okay. We might save you one. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, well, thank you, Anthony. Yep, thank you. We'd like to remind everybody that there's something for everybody at Holiday at Home. We have the parade. We have crafts, if you like crafts. We have food. We also have two car shows, one on Sunday, which is an air-cooled Volkswagens. And then we have, on Monday, we have invitational-only car shows. Both of them are very popular at Holiday at Home. If you would like to volunteer, Volunteer positions are open and we'd love to have you. We have fun, but we get a lot of work done. Sign up to volunteer on the Holiday at Home website. Click the volunteer button. We'd love to have you. Hello, Kettering, and happy Labor Day. Welcome to the 65th 2024 Holiday at Home Parade, the largest and most entertaining parade in the Dayton region. And our theme this year is our hometown celebrities. We're going to start things off now with the Kettering Police Department Honor Guard. Formed in 2011, 12 original members of the team often called upon to honor fallen officers. Pay respect to the retired members of the KPD and have passed away and honor their country and community at various events. We're so happy to have them. I'm Dan Edwards along with Jamie Jarosi. Jamie, good to be with you again. Hey, good morning. It's great to be here. What a beautiful day in Kettering for a parade. Uh, we welcome everyone and we just hope you enjoy yourselves here as we do every year. And this parade is as old as you, right? <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. Well, listen, we want to kick things off in respectable fashion here on this Labor Day with 11th hour premier acapella group from Kettering Fairmont High School, ladies and gentlemen.
and thank you, 11th hour. You make us proud. Kettering Fairmont High School. We'll talk more about them in just a few moments, but just want to welcome you as our Kettering Police Honor Guard turn and kind of officially kick things off. Yes, yeah, so much talent in that group. Um, not only they're singing, but notice their shirts. They're athletes. They're cheerleading. Mm, they're in yeah. different groups. And I love that. Yeah, Hope Squad. It's, it's great. Well, that's the one thing great about this community, man. If you want to get involved, there's plenty of opportunities for you to do so. And we highlight that today. Hard to believe the 65th 65th year that we've been doing this began in 1959 and like you said it's as old as i am here <laughs> but we want to thank miami valley communications There's council of course live in high definition today and of course spectrum on channel six youtube mvcc.net and of course a great opportunity for you just to kind of if you miss any of it today you're, you'll get to kind of relive this great moment with mvcc we certainly thank that group we'll talk more about them in just a little bit too jamie great to have you here with me again this year and we celebrate our hometown celebrities i wanted to congratulate congratulate you, our hometown celebrity. Thursday, she's going to be inducted into the Dayton Area Broadcasters Hall of Fame. A round of applause for Jamie Jarosik, your Hall of Famer from Kettering. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very honored and excited. Can you believe it? We start out <laughs> chilly on this September 2nd. Yep. And, uh, and now look what we have, just a beautiful, beautiful day, a chilly start before we're going to warm things up. A lot of surprises for you. Just about 120 units here today. That's amazing. Yeah, and our, our Kettering City banner today. Yep, this is a generous in-kind donor. We have uh, the City of Kettering. Please give a round of applause thanking our yeah. major sponsor for their generous support. And I like the logo this year, too. Hometown celebrities, indeed. We should have, like, a big red carpet down the entire Far Hills Avenue here. In our Holiday at Home theme banner, we welcome the 2024 Kettering Holiday at Home Parade and Holiday Weekend as we celebrate our hometown celebrities. Don't forget to join us at Lincoln Park today for the Car Show. Kids Zone and Arts and Crafts, you know the thing. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Look at our hometown celebrities. Woohoo! Honor Guard, Gary, uh, Grand Marshal, of course, Gary Sandy, Tannenberg Pet Resorts, uh, generous platform donor, uh, platinum donor, excuse me, the 2024 theme float. The hometown celebrity is sponsored by Tannenberg Pet Resort. Hang on there just a second. Jamie wants to slide down there, and we'd like to talk to some of our celebrities here today. Why and her family want to thank the community for all the gracious support they received through the year and are proud to hold the title of Kettering's oldest business with special hugs to all of our animal friends. We especially want to honor our second generation owner, Bob Becker, who passed at the end of May. Bob, we miss you dearly, and be the business owner of the Rainbow Bridge now, if you will. And our hometown celebrity, Steam Foot, recognizes our honor, honorary Grand Marshal, Gary Sandy, along with Tom Michaels, voice of the Dayton Gems, Larry Hanskin from WHIO Sports Broadcaster, the Dayton Flyers, Jason Michaels from WHIO Broadcaster and the News, D.L. Stewart, Dayton Daily News, news writer and humorist. And Gary is also being inducted into the Broadcasters Hall of Fame later this week. And Jamie, you've got the gang right there. All right, Gary, how's it feel to be home? Well, I'm just I'm totally honored. You know, talk to these guys. These guys are used to running their mouths off more than me. <laughs> hey, it's good to see everyone out here today. And, uh, you know, the whole idea behind the Kettering Holiday at Home is this to don't be traveling. Don't leave the Miami Valley. It's the place to be. Uh, well. It's great to be here, um, and uh, especially uh, the parade being a part of my life all the way back to the 1960s. Yeah, I've worked at just about every radio station in this town, and to be at WHIO for uh, 20 years has been uh, just an absolute honor. And to be with this guy, my hero. Yeah, I just want to say it's great to be here. I uh, I am a proud graduate, 1969, of Fairmont East High School. So happy to be back here in Kettering, and uh, hope you enjoy the parade. Thank you, and I'm certainly honored to be here and very surprised because, you know, well, I'm like, it's a newspaper guy. What's a newspaper? But anyway, I am thrilled to be here, grateful for the weather today, and grateful for all of you showing up. I do want to say, though, that I'm very, very proud, and this is no kidding, I'm proud to be from 
Dayton, Ohio, home of aviation, Kettering, Ohio, and I went to the greatest school in the United States, Fairmont. And I was, I was, I'm dating myself now, but I was in the last Fairmont class before it changed east and west, and now it's back to one. Fairmont High School, very proud. Hey, yay, Kettering. All right, Gary, Sandy, thank you so much. And Congratulations, guys. Thank you all for being with us today. And, of course, Gary, his first role was in As the World Turns in the daytime drama The uh, Secret Storm. Gary is best known as Travis, the program director for the classic series WKRP in Cincinnati and also appearing in many classic movies, including The Last of the Cowboys opposite Henry Fonda and also appearing in many Broadway productions, including his favorite, The Pirates of Penzance. And the only actor to appear on stage is Hammer in Mickey Spillane's Mick Hammer. We thank our local artist, Bill Bradley, for the design and construction of the float. Ladies and gentlemen, your hometown celebrities. Thank you, Gary, and all of you. Thank you. All right. Now we're welcoming our holiday at-home officers. And Hal McCoy. Hal McCoy, our baseball Hall of Famer, our writer there now in Cooperstown. Great to see you, Hal. He's been driven by Ray Snigger. And now we have our Holiday at Home officers. Please welcome the 2024 Holiday at Home Chairman of the Board, Jerry Fitzharris. President Lisa Rusek. Vice President Jennifer Weiner. Treasurer Jordan Wine is driving the theme float. And we welcome 2024 Grand Marshal Bruce Duke, a graduate of the Ohio State University and retired professor from the University of Dayton, elected to Kettering City Council in 1986, and he was essential in the development of the Frays Pavilion and Lincoln Park, and he founded the Kettering Leadership Academy in 2003, and we welcome Bruce and his wife Jan and family. Thanks for being with us. Yes, his family came in from all over, so welcome, and congratulations, Mr. Duke. Hey, Bruce, when are you going to get on that scooter? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice ride. And we want to honor our scholarship winners for the 2024 Holiday at Home. Uh, we have our first place winner of $5,000, Fairmont High School valedictorian graduate Ellie McCall. She will attend Loyola University majoring in environmental policy. She enjoys baking, reading, and sketching, and she's volunteered all over the place. We also have runner-up of $2,500. That's Carolyn Mix and another runner-up, Centerville High School graduate Allison Wagner, who will attend Ohio State. Congratulations. And Kettering City Council on the way by there to wave, if you will, generous and kind donor, members of our Kettering City Council. Of course, you know them. Jackie Fisher, Vice Mayor and Council members, Jill Hall, Lisa Duvall, Rob Scotts, Brian Suddeth, and Shane Sullivan, your members of Kettering City Council. Here comes one of my old groups. Oh, yeah. I was in this group once. These are the Kettering Fairmont High School cheerleaders. Well, you debuted in this parade at one time, didn't you? Well, well you walked yeah. these streets on I this parade. I did walk these streets in the same uniform. <laughs> um, and these, these cheerleaders are coached by Carrie Keene. And in addition to cheering on the sports teams, they travel to Disney to compete in nationals every year. Go Fairmont. Well, they won the most important yep. game of the year they, already. They right? beat Alter. Now, Alter's <laughs> in this parade, too. So, so we, we got to show props. Like All too. right. <laughs> All right, you hear the drums. You see the excitement. Kettering, Fairmont, marching Firebirds now approaching center stage. My favorite part of a parade. Yeah. Were you in the band? I was not. You were not in the band. I okay. just admired 
the drummers. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you wanted to play? I mean, I if would you totally gonna, play the yeah, drums. Yeah, I could see you being a drummer. Well, the Kettering Fairmont Marching Firebirds proud to represent Kettering City Schools. Thank you, Go. Kettering Fairmont Marching Firebirds. Go. Go! I still know the moves to the routine. <laughs> <laughs> Hometown tradition. Oh, that sounds so good. Give you goosebumps there, Fairmont yes. Firebirds. Indeed. So glad that they represent the community in so many different performances, local and regional, and under the direction of Matthew Phillips and Brandon Schick with assistance from Abby Montgomery and Tommy Rome. And leading the band today, drum majors Reuben Baker, Lauren Benkin, Izzy Kilburn, and Cabot Roundfield. Nice job, guys. Great job. Here comes the Kettering Middle School cheer down the way. They are coached by Lindsey Farrell. They cheer their school's basketball and football teams. The cheerleaders also compete in traditional and game day competitions. There they are again, ladies and gentlemen. 11th hour. 11th Hour, the premier a cappella group from Kettering Fairmont High School. They've produced award-winning recordings, appeared on national television, and have won a gold medal at the World Choir Games. They will be hosting their annual Kettering National a cappella Festival this fall with a free concert at Fairmont High School. Approaching now, ladies and gentlemen, is our Kettering Volunteer of the Year. It's Kettering's Mayor's Award recipient for volunteer services in 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Peggy Spencer. Peggy has been a volunteer at Greenmont Elementary School for 17 years. She's volunteered in every capacity there, including PTA and fundraising for Family Fun Day. Her favorite part of volunteering is hearing the kids say, Hi, Ms. Peggy, or Hi, Nana. She's being driven today by Missy Mae Walters. And here we have the Kettering Sister Cities. They are entering their 56th year, and in 2023, they had a youth and adult visit to Steyr, Austria, to celebrate 50 years. This year, 2024, they hosted a youth group from Steyr who stayed with host families and were shown our region's best features, including a detailed historical tour of the city. And once again, representing Kettering Fairmont High School, our students from Fairmont High. Go Firebirds! Proud to be celebrating Kettering's hometown celebrities, the teachers from across the district. And we certainly thank you teachers who have joined us today. Students are also highlighting their 2024 Spirit Chain Charities, the Kettering Backpack Program, the uh, KCS Forward Foundation, and Robin's Nest. Hi, Lena. Something to be very, up very here, proud up of. Up here, up <laughs> here. <laughs> Jamie knows practically everyone in the parade today, so wave as you go by. <laughs> and Kettering, sees, uh, Kettering City Schools Transportation. That is so cute. Who was your favorite teacher? Kettering City Schools Transportation Department provides services to approximately 5,300 eligible students. They are student-focused and proud to serve the district and community. We are Firebirds. And the Kettering Board of Education, President Toby Henderson, 
Vice President Mark Martin and members Jennifer Kane, Bill Lauder, and Christy Richards. They provide local control of our district by representing citizens of our community and determining what educational opportunities will be afforded to our school children. And you know, let's talk a little bit more about the Kettering Backpack Program. Hundreds of students who face food insecurity rely on school provided breakfast and lunch. And for these students, weekends mean hunger. The Kettering Backpack Program discreetly provides these students food for the weekend. You know, more than 600 students are receiving nutritious supplemental food every single weekend from us with your donations serving Kettering Schools. And we thank you so much for the Kettering Backpack Program. Can't wait for the Shriners coming forward here very soon. That's always a crowd favorite. Always a pleasure to have that entertaining crowd join us each and every year here at our holiday at home. 65th year. What, what's some of your fondest memories, Jamie? I was a raisin one year in the parade. <laughs> raisin. Um, remember the raisinettes? Yeah. We did a routine like that. I don't ah, know, how we cool raisins. is that? <laughs> There's the Kettering Board of Education. Yes. Nice ride. We thank them again. And we thank Highfield Door Sales, too, for providing yet another float here, our backpack program that we spoke of. Man, what a great, uh, a great organization in this community because it's so needed. And unfortunately, that need continues to grow, and so does the backpack program. And that program was actually born from the Kettering Leadership Academy, which Bruce Duke, Duke yeah. was, in, was involved with getting going. So such a great program. I've volunteered for it many times. You help pack the bags, and it goes straight to the schools, and... Get in those lockers discreetly. Yes. Very important. And here we have the Kettering Kickers. Welcome back, Kettering <laughs> Kickers. They have a tribute to many notable women in the Miami Valley. Irma Bombeck, humorist, Nancy Cartwright, voice of Bart Simpson and Fairmont grad. And Geraldine Blunden, founder of DCDC DC and Esther Price. Wow. Need we say more? Yeah. Hometown celebrities indeed. <laughs> well, I think you already know who's here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> our, our fantastic Kettering Fire Department. Of course, Engine 37 here. You've seen it around. A round of applause for Kettering Fire Department. Show them your love, everybody. Oh, somebody's crying. The sirens can be loud. <laughs> Here's the Kettering Police Department. The motor program began in 1968 and it was restored in 1993 and currently assigned to Officer Johnson. The canine program began in 1987 with 18 dogs having served since that time. We welcome canine Ox with Officer Stull, canine Thor with Officer Hall, and K-9 Bolt with Officer Harper. And following the K-9 units, the regional SWAT team established in 1995 with our officers. Thank you so much for protecting our city. Let's hear it for our Kettering Police Department, ladies and gentlemen, keeping us safe. You know, it's an estimated 100,000 people attend Holiday at Home every week. Yeah, they, every weekend. they say this is the big, biggest parade in Ohio. That's what they say. I believe them. I think so. I mean, it's, it's always huge in a day like today. Right. The numbers probably going to spike, I would imagine. <laughs> and an another great organization here in Kettering is the Kettering Doorwood Optimus Club. My golly, they do so many things. You know, mostly their, their service is for the youth of Kettering. And they have many, many community service programs and, and also scholarship programs. So we just wanted to take the time to thank, uh, as the banner comes forward here, the Kettering Doorwood Optimists, ladies and gentlemen. Thank them for all that they do. 
And they have the best Christmas tree lot. You can go get your Christmas tree. Oh, Do yeah. it early because they sell out fast. Yeah. September 2nd. Here we are talking Christmas already. That's all right. That's all right. It's always a good time. The fishing derby. Yes. That's always a good one. Veterans Memorial. All the great. Look at all the great things that they do. Including Safety the, Village. The oh. girl power. You like the yes. girl power. I like that. Safety Village was one of my favorite memories. I went there as a kid. Aww. My kids have gone. It's so great. Yeah, that's that little neat. village. They drive their little cars around. They have stoplights. They practice crossing the street. Do you practice Divas Day Out too? I go to Divas <laughs> Day Out. <laughs> that's a fun day. Thank you, Dora. What up to us? You guys are awesome. We appreciate what you do very much. And he, these are the lucky optimists who get to ride on the float. <laughs> bring out the best in kids, and that you do. And you bring out the best in our community. Thank you. Avenue of Flags and historical We'll see essence. you at Diva's Day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many fun things. Oh, there's, oh a, there's this QR code for more information. All right, very good. Do if you, you want to join, want right? To support your community, help children... Have fun. All right. Join jo our big productive group. All right. Very Stand good, man. Code. You're good at reading cue cards. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's Part of the job, you know. <laughs> like you've done that before. And here we go. The red and blue. Pride of Dayton marching band under the direction of Professor Kenneth Will. They've been to Dublin, Ireland. They are going to London, England to be representing UD at London Band Week in 2025. Whether it's hot or cold, rain or shine, the pride of Dayton shows us that it's always a great day to be a flyer. Go Flyers! Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Kettering Centerville Kiwanis. Kettering Centerville Kiwanis founded in 1954, now approaching. You know our community benefits from the service of over 400 Kiwanis members today, including student-led key builder and K-Kids clubs at Alter, Centerville High School, Dayton Regional STEM, and, uh, of course, Kettering Elementary Schools and Kiwanis members address needs in the community, including food insecurity, mental health, reading, and civic engagement. And Kettering Health. A generous event donor, Kettering Health is a faith-based family of medical centers, emergency centers, and outpatient facilities. We're committed to bringing the latest in medical technology and advanced health care, hospital, medical emergency, physical therapy, and imaging services to your community. The official health care partner for the Cincinnati Bengals. Kettering Health Sports Medicine Department, serving the community for over 25 years. Kettering Health Transport is invaluable to us. No doubt. Had the opportunity yesterday, Jamie, to go down to the Dayton Dragons Ball Park and uh, enjoy Kettering Health. They had it pink out. Ooh, and I love know that's that. something near and dear to your heart. Absolutely. And you are feeling well, I'm assuming? I am great. Absolutely, 100%. Looking fantastic, as always. Pleasure to have you with me. All right, next is our Dayton Metro Barbershop Chorus. They perform throughout the year, including Valentine's, parades, festivals, private events, holiday appearances, and an annual show in October. You know, there is nothing like the experience of hearing barbershop harmonies literally ring off the walls. To learn more, go to singdayton.org, the Dayton Metro Barbershop Chorus. And here is Alta Fiber, your hometown internet provider, proudly representing a major sponsor of today's Holiday at Home Parade. Wave hello to the team, bringing lightning fast fiber internet to Kettering. You can visit altafiber.com to get signed up today.
And White Allen Volkswagen, our generous diamond donor, proudly part of the White Allen family of dealerships, has been serving the Dayton area for over 89 years. Visit White Allen Volkswagen for the best in quality service and Volkswagen vehicles. Here is the Kettering Civic Band. They're under the direction of Miss Catherine Abner. It's an all-volunteer organization open to any instrumentalist passionate about making great music. They hold concerts at Poland Farm during the summer and the Kettering Middle School in winter and spring. Let's hear it for the Civic Band. Sponsor Dry Tech Exteriors, of course, a local family owned roofing, siding, and gutter company located on Far Hills across from St. Albert's. And if you have seen this company's reviews, man, no wonder they're winners of the Best of Dayton Award for the past three years. They always say if your roof is a wreck, you need to call Dry Tech. Dry Tech Exteriors with us today, ladies and gentlemen. And here comes Integrative Touch and Massage and Wellness, a generous diamond donor. They have a team of licensed and multi-certified professionals working together to help you achieve your wellness goals. They offer medical massage, physical therapy, personal training, and more. They focus on the importance of mind, body, spirit connection, ensuring that when you leave the center, you have a greater sense of well-being. You can check them out at KetteringMassageTherapy.com and let them help you take charge of your health. Well, they brought quite a, quite a crowd here with them yeah, today. Yeah, look at look everybody. At See, don't you just feel better as they go by? Someone's <laughs> out there wanting you to relax. Yes. Lord knows it's stressful enough in today's society. You need that from you time to time. You need that personal care, that self-care. <laughs> yes. Integrative Touch Massage and Wellness, thank you for being our generous diamond donor. Good job. And again, Highfield Door Sales, man, what would we do without them at our holiday at home? Our generous VIP donor, Highfield Door Sales, has been a proud sponsor of Holiday at Home for 17 years. Started by Becky and Rodney in their Kettering home 28 years ago. Their commitment to serving the Miami Valley is top quality workmanship and materials. Rodney says, we treat our customers the way they want to be treated in their own homes. Highfield Door Sales, located across from Mama De Salvo's. You know where that is. Here's our little red wagon, the fun radio flyer. This is Zot Barazoto's radio flyer, red wagon, and it's here to put smiles on the faces of kids. It's a tribute to all veterans, especially Vietnam vets. Remember, old age is, old age is mandatory. Maturity is optional. You can have your photo taken <laughs> like in the that. red flyer at the car show after the parade. Oh, cool. Oh, well, hold up now. Cincinnati Ghostbusters are in the house. And the real Ohio Ghostbusters. Uh, Cincinnati Ghostbusters, along with Cincinnati Stay Puff and the real Ohio Ghostbusters fundraising for children's charities and catching smiles in the community. Ladies and gentlemen, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Look at that <laughs> tiny little Ghostbuster. How cute. How cool. You guys put together a really nice display here, man. Digging this. So neat. Now I need to go watch that movie. I think so. The new one you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've not seen that either. All right, raise your hand if you're a ghost out there. Who's got a ghost? Oh, they have the, oh, this keeps going. This Jeez. is so cool. I love the fact they bring their own PA system. That's cool. Uh-huh. Oh, that's so much fun, though. The kids can, I mean, that's something kids and, and parents can share alike now that it's been around for so long. And, you know, it's kind of cool to share that with your kids. And they do good work, too. I mean, they're always doing charity work and raising thousands of dollars for uh, charitable causes. So just our hats are off to our Ghostbusters here from Cincinnati and the real Ohio Ghostbusters. Show them your support, ladies and gentlemen. And Slimer and Stay Puff <laughs> bringing up the rear here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with us today. 
How does he get that car through the car wash is what I want to know. Uh, low clearance. I don't know. <laughs> Here come some people that know how to balance, right? St. Jacob's jugglers and unicyclists. St. Jacob is 203 years old with an amazing history. The first pastor was in Napoleon's army. The first NFL no extra point was kicked by I'll one of their done. members. The first Good Friday service in their building was the day Lincoln was shot. Oh my. You can join them for worship at 1030 and noon at St. Jacob. That is amazing history. And it's also amazing he can juggle and unicycle and at the same unicycle. time. That's, that takes talent. He's been here every year for many years. <laughs> well, we're so glad that St. Jacob jugglers and unicyclists are with us today for sure and in the community. Very cool. 200 plus years. That's amazing. Well, Ohio's finest parade continues, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome Montgomery County Environmental Services now and Kirby the Cardinal. Wave at the Cardinal, everybody. Kirby the Cardinal is so happy to present this 16-foot replica of a recycling bin and its contents that were constructed from over 85% recycled material. Kirby the Cardinal wants to remind residents to reduce and reuse and recycle, right? And look at our esteemed guests we have on the float. Our commissioners from Montgomery County, Debbie Lieberman and Carolyn Rice. Thank you for being with us. And for a tour of the Environmental Learning Center or to have Kirby at your next event, visit their website at mcswd.org or Montgomery County Environmental Services. Here is Chip Little Fire Trucks. Chip Little is a former volunteer fireman with the city of Kettering, and he enjoys displaying some of his collection. This marks his 58th year. Since he is 81 years old, he will not be driving the engine, but he's enjoying riding as a passenger in the parade today. Heck yeah. And we welcome them, this 1988 Kettering Engine 31. Yeah, Todd Howe from uh, Howe Rescue is driving today, so we thank him as well. Also, David Cemetery, one of the most beautiful cemeteries, generations of care. They're celebrating their 198th anniversary, ladies and gentlemen. They have graves, mausoleum, and a columbarium spaces, and all are open to all faiths at David's Cemetery. Thank you for being with us today and for bringing your puppy. This is another great group. I love seeing them every year. The WCKC Waynesville Dogs on Hogs. <laughs> <laughs> Waynesville Dogs on Hogs are all fastened to the riders for safety. Okay. These are Pomeranians. And this group promotes the construction and use of off-leash recreational dog parks, which are so fun for those dogs. How cool is it to see a dog with goggles on, man? That just is so cool. It's pretty A little pretty bandana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't want to put, like, a Great Dane on there with you, would you? <laughs> no. Might be a little problematic. And kind of staying with that theme, everybody, the uh, Humane Society of Greater Dayton, proud to be a no-kill organization that has been serving the animals and people of the Miami Valley since 1902. And to put that into perspective, we've been committed to the animals in our community before the Wright brothers invented flight. A round of applause for your Humane Society of Greater Dayton, everybody, and the great work that they do. And we have another animal group here, the Montgomery County Animal Resource Center. Uh, they serve the people and pets of Montgomery County by promoting effective public safety, humane animal welfare, and connecting pets to forever homes. And another unit that we'd like to introduce you to is uh, HEARTS, which is the acronym for Homeless Animal Rescue Team. And the purpose of HEARTS, obviously, to rescue homeless animals, saving them from euthanasia, abandonment, 
and abuse. Heart places all rescue animals in foster homes versus shelters, and all heart animals receive top-notch veterinary care and are currently needed uh, vaccinations. You know, microchips and spay and neuter and all that. And let's just not forget, they are a 100% volunteer node paid staff. <laughs> I love the little SUV oh, rolling in there with the kids. That is so adorable. You see it all at this parade, yep, I'm telling you. That's right. And very aptly following yes. these canines, that's we have Pet Butler of Southwest <laughs> Ohio. They are a generous platinum donor. Oh, thank you. Pet Butler of Southwest Ohio provides pet waste cleanup and removal. Their professional service is ideal for singles, families, businesses, parks, and more. Pet Butler cleanups are done by professionals who genuinely care for you and your pet. Thank you for being here and for your sponsorship. Let's continue now as we welcome Kroger's into center stage. Their generous platinum donor. Of course, Kroger's established in 1863. Kind of the throwback here with this float. Continually supporting the communities that they are in. And today we have the Barney Kroger wagon. And a special guest, the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile in house, ladies and gentlemen. So let's hear it for Kroger and the Wiener Mobile. Yes, that Wiener Mobile is back this year. We thank you, Kroger, for bringing it. You know, this is a this is a something that it's, people it's an icon. like. They, yeah, they chase it down to get a picture with it. Like <laughs> this is the Wiener Mobile. They were at the Dayton Dragons game yesterday, and they gave out those little Wiener whistles. Yes. So I'm sure you can get. Man, the whole stadium was filled with wiener whistles. <laughs> it was driving me crazy. <laughs> and let's welcome Kettering Professional Firefighters Local 2150 to center stage now. Look at this. Love the uniforms, everybody. Of course, Kettering Professional Firefighters Local 2150, proud to protect and serve the citizens of Kettering, representing those fine men and women in today's parade, are two Belgium draft horses, Jack and Jim. Say hi to Jack and Jim, everybody. They're from the famous Hagenmeyer Homestead who are pulling an antique fire apparatus owned by Bob McCarroll. So thank you so much, Kettering Professional Firefighters, Local 2150. And here's the Reverie Riders, a group of friends who enjoy parades, trail riding, and showing on occasion. Thank you for being here. And uh, I think this is perfect positioning for this parade unit yep. directly after the animals but they keep your streets clean all year round and what makes Kettering beautiful you're looking at it right here our Kettering Street Maintenance Team give them a wave they probably can't hear your applause but they can certainly see you wave there you go thank you maintenance team for all that you do keeping our streets clean really appreciate it And we've got the rubber duck walking down the street. This is United Rehabilitation Services. URS has been serving children and adults with developmental and acquired disabilities in our community for 68 years. The 21st annual URS Rubber Duck Regatta is Saturday, September 21st at the Riverscape Metro Park. You can still adopt a duck. There is still time to get your duck, DaytonDucks.com. And it is certainly a sight to see when they dump all those ducks oh my word. in the river. <laughs> that is quite the spectacle to see thousands of yellow ducks tumble into the Great Miami River and float on down to see who's going to be the Adopt-A-Duck winner. And uh, hats off to Dennis Grant and his team. Dennis, good to see you, sir. Thank you for all that you do for so many years. God bless you. You're such a great asset to our community, helping these families in so many ways. So, again, adopt a duck, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to be over at the park today and, and uh, get you a yellow duck. It's fun. It's part of our society, part of our the fabric of our community, United Rehabilitation Services of Greater Dayton. Thank you, Dennis. 
All right, we're going to go fast and furious here, ladies and gentlemen, as we have next AES Ohio, our generous platinum donor. AES Ohio is a regulated electric utility powering more than half a million customers across 24 counties in West Central Ohio. And during its long history, AES Ohio has served its customers with the lowest rates in Ohio among investor-owned utilities. AES Ohio is more than your local utility. Our people are actively involved in the communities where we live, work, and raise our families. We thank you, AES Ohio. I like a group that brings their own jams. Right. It's <laughs> fun to hear all Besides the different Besides the music. bands, yeah. Mm -hmm. And here we go with United Water Restoration Group of Dayton Southeast. They are a generous VIP donor. United Water Restoration Group deals with water, fire, mold, and storm damages. And being a family name, they offer quick response times, open 24-7. Oh, oh. They bring their pyrotechnics nice. with them. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done, you guys. But you can call them and talk to a live person every time. Nice, man. Nice. Let's continue with iCode Centerville, our generous VIP donor. iCode makes STEM learning fun for kids and teens. At iCode, kids get to do collaborative, hands-on project with drones, video game, and app development, 3D modeling and printing, VR, and so much more. Located at Cross Point Center, you can stop by or see their website, iCodeCenterville.com, for more information about getting your kids into STEM. And now Requarth Lumber, generous VIP donor. Requarth Lumber is 164 years old this year. This historic company delivers and installs building materials all over Kettering a local company in a sea of national companies focused on reconnecting with the communities we serve. They actually helped repair the Wright Brothers' first Wright That's fire. Right. Yeah. They've been through the 1913 flood. True American dream company. Yeah, it is. Nice to support local. As we continue now with Union Savings Bank, our generous platinum donor. Of course, a neighbor since 1904, Union Savings Bank is proud to be a part of Kettering Holiday at Home again this year. Come see us to learn how we can help you with your lending and savings needs. Located at 3030 Woodman Drive, we are equal opportunity, equal opportunity lender at Union Savings Bank. Now it's time to break it down. Let's do it. We got Funk funky? Lab. Yeah, we do. We got <laughs> Funk Lab Dance Center here, a generous platinum donor. Oh, here we go. Okay. Not yes. bad when you're in a moving vehicle. Right? <laughs> At Funk Lab Dance Center, they believe dance is for everyone, and that's why they offer hip-hop dance classes for ages 2 to adult, catering to all skill levels, whether you're dancing for fun or an aspiring pro. We are here to nurture your talent and passion. Thank you for your sponsorship. Kelly. And your energy, man. Thank you. Kelly Daly, owner extraordinaire. Next is uh, McAfee HVAC and Plumbing, a generous platinum donor this year. McAfee Heating and Air, you know, with over 30 years of experience serving the Miami Valley with top quality HVAC services, McAfee now offers the same quality in plumbing. The McAfee team brought their air duct cleaning truck, reminding us that clean air promotes a healthier home environment so we can all ah, breathe easy. Well, don't take an inhale right now. <laughs> this is Rumkey, a generous platinum donor. Rumkey, a family-owned waste and recycling company that has provided services to residents and businesses throughout the region for over 90 years. They are proud to be the waste and recycling provider for the city of Kettering. Thank you, they thank you for letting them keep your neighborhoods clean and green. Yeah, and a quick shout out to Mike's Car Wash, our generous platinum donor this year. Welcome Mike's Car Wash with several locations in the Miami Valley. We are founded in 1948, family owned, the largest exterior car wash company in the United States. So Mike's Car Wash, thank you for your generous platinum donation this year.
All right, let's welcome the altar cheerleaders to center stage, ladies and gentlemen. Were you a cheerleader, Jamie? I was, but for Fairmont. Oh, this is altar, of course, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, their altar cheerleading consists of girls ranging from freshmen to seniors and is proud to cheer on the Knights each week. Whether it be cheering for soccer, football, or basketball, they all come together to march the parade and show their pride and spirit in catering. Go Knights! And following up the cheerleaders are the Alter Lancerettes. The Alter High School Lancerettes is a traditional high kick dance line of 70 members in grades 9 through 12. The girls also perform at halftime of the men and women's UD basketball games and at Cleveland Cavalier games. Very cool. And I'm liking the pink. Yeah. up behind altar and I always hear the band practice yeah. and they would kind of parade down our street practicing for this parade right got to see that behind the scenes oh two fantastic schools in one community man it gives it real vibrance Partic particularly competitively right you know you love that spirit and good things happen Followed by Archbishop Alter Marching Knights. And the Alter Marching Knights are the musical ambassadors for Alter High School. The Marching Knights have been crowned Mid-States Band Association Grand Champions nine times. Bands of America Regional Class Champions seven times. Grand National Semi-Finalists six times. And in 2022, were the Bands of America Class A Grand National Champions. Let's hear for Archbishop Alter Marching Knights, ladies and gentlemen. I would say that that has to be a bit more difficult with the flags on a winter with the wind, day like yes. today. I would think so. At least it's in your face, I think. So that's good. And Thank wave you, Alter. Alter Marching Knights, waving goodbye. <laughs> See you next time. But we are not quite done with Alter just yet. We have the Alter Boys golf team. Back-to-back -back Division II state champions. Let's hear it for them. Coach Schuster and again. All right. Yes. The Knights are currently halfway through their 2024 season, and they're looking to win their third consecutive boys golf state championship. You Good bet. luck, Knights. Oh, look at the ring. Show me the bling. <laughs> Love it, man. Put a lot of work into that. You deserve it. Very proud of you all. Well, Scotty Scheffler just won the championship yesterday. Which, which one on that on that little float right there is our next Scotty Scheffler, huh? Some, one of them. Huh? I think he won like like sixty million dollars this year. Wow. <laughs> so there's future in golf, ladies and gentlemen. Lifelong sport you can enjoy. Alter all basketball program too. 2024 OHSAA Division II state champions. This team has now added a fourth state championship to the program's history. Congratulations, we're very proud of our Alter Knights and the boys basketball program. Here we have item company, three 500 and 2nd Parachute Infantry Regiment, 101st Airborne Living History Group. The purpose in portraying one company, 502nd Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 101st Airborne Division is to preserve the history. Item company under the command of Colonel Robert Cole participated in the bayonet charge on the in Ingoff Farm on June 11th, 1944. He would receive the Medal of Honor for this action. Our honoree, our honoree riding in the item company Jeep is Jim O'Neill. He is a Vietnam era veteran, member of American Legion Post 598 and Sergeant at Arms for 21 years.
He's also been a member of the Combined Honor Guard that has completed over 2,000 missions, which include flag ceremonies, flag dedications, and veterans' funerals. These ceremonies consist of a three-volley rifle salute, playing of taps, folding of the flag, then presenting the flag, and spent shells to the veterans' family. And the Combined Honor Guard to follow leads the CHE bus carrying volunteers from Kettering American Legion Post 598, Miamisburg American Legion Post 165, and West Carrollton VFW Post 3438, driven by John Henrik, Post 165 Commander. Now the Combined Honor Guard annually provides over 200 rifle salutes with live taps and flag folding for funerals and special event memorials ceremonies throughout the area and much more that Jamie mentioned before. So we're so happy to have our Combined Honor Guard here. Kettering American Legion Post 598. Uh, this is Gavin Long and Auxiliary President Erica Kuby. Next is the American Legion Department of, the Ohio, of Ohio Commander Arnold A.J. Watley and his Sergeant at Arms Mike Blackwell. Following is past 3rd District Commander Joe Law, accompanied by his wife, Betsy Law, past 3rd District Commander. They are accompanied by members of the American Legion Riders. Proud to have our nation's veterans in our parade today, and those of you in the audience, we thank you as well for your service. It's what this day is all about. We continue now with our disabled American veterans. Jesse R. Stefanik's Chapter 9, Dayton, Ohio. Pleasure to have you folks with us today. Next, we have Montgomery County Veterans Service Commission. The Montgomery County Veterans Service Office is a county agency committed to serving area veterans. Emergency financial assistance, filing of VA claims, and free legal services are available to qualified Montgomery County veterans. Here, veterans can find service with compassion, dignity, and respect. You can find them online at mcvsc.org. Tim Frisco and the gang, nicely done. As we continue with our Dayton Vet Center, we focus on providing services to veterans and service members. Be it combat operations areas of hostility, stateside deployments, or endured military service related trauma, we are connection, camaraderie, and community. Located on Woodman Drive. Sons of the American Revolution honors Revolutionary War patriot ancestors by promoting patriotism, serving our communities, educating, inspiring future generations about the founding, founding principles of our country. Members are direct descendants of individuals who participated in the American Revolution. The Richard Montgomery Chapter is located in Dayton, Ohio. And our Civil Air Patrol follows GLR Ohio. 284, the Wright Brothers Composite Squadron is located at the Dayton Wright Brothers Airport. Civil Air Patrol is the U.S. Air Force Auxiliary and has three core competencies of aerospace, education, emergency service, and the cadet program. Visit us at gocap.gov, our Civil Air Patrol. Back our blue. That's making a statement, isn't it? Absolutely. And Mom's Restaurants, we welcome Brad Chase, a retired firefighter whose entry is dedicated to the people that serve. Back in the blue, thank you for your service. I think I see some little firebirds coming. Aww. 
Isn't that great? Our future Firebirds basketball team approaching. Future Firebirds basketball provides select basketball and cheer opportunities for Kettering City School students first through sixth grade. I yeah. love that they have to try to shoot at the moving <laughs> target. <laughs> This is such a great program. Yeah. The way the high school helps out, it's just a big family, and we, we've we loved it. I have had a couple kids go yeah. through it. you got to start young, right? Yep. And, uh, again, it's uh, Kettering City School students, first through sixth grade. Open gyms start this week, so sign up now at futurefirebirds.com or just look them up and hook up on Facebook, okay? Our future Firebirds basketball. Let's hear it for them, everybody. Let's go, birds. So my son was going to yeah. walk with them. Yeah. But he enjoys watching the parade. He was afraid the basketball would roll away. There were many things <laughs> that he decided not to walk this year. But I think once he sees them, he's going to be pretty upset yeah. that he didn't do it because how fun. Kettering Youth Football and Cheer Organization. He's here, Kettering Youth Football and Cheer, serving the youth of Kettering, teaching fundamentals, sportsmanship, team bonding. We love to see that. No doubt. So many great youth organizations in Kettering. It's just phenomenal. Like we say, if it, so many things to do and get engaged in Kettering. If you're new to the community, well, we love to have you get involved and, and be a part of it. You, you can make a difference in Kettering. And I moved to Kettering, too, so yes. I've been here a couple of years, so really enjoying it. <laughs> Let's hear for the coaches and the kids, ladies and gentlemen, getting us fired up here today. All right. <laughs> it's football season. <laughs> and these kids practice, you know. Right. It's not just once a week. They are dedicated. Just look at the sheer numbers of yep. kids. Congratulations and thank you to the parents that get these kids to practice Absolutely. and to wash their uniforms and everything that you do to make this such a special moment, too. That's even got their names on the back That's here. So That's cool. big time. It's fantastic. Nash Metropolitan. This is a little convertible produced by Nash and built in England. It's a 1961 Metropolitan. It's one of the cutest cars around, and I hear it's a lot of fun to drive. Completely restored. It's owned by Maria and Larry Sutman of Kettering. And we also want to focus on Life Connection of Ohio, the nonprofit organization that promotes and facilitates organs donations in West Central Ohio. And walking are people whose lives have been touched by organ donation. Did you know that one person has the power to save eight lives through organ donation and heal 125 more through tissue donation? That's why it's so important that you show your, your support for Life Connection of Ohio. The Chevy Coupe, 1935, Chevy two-door coupe, restored, remodeled, family-owned by Samuel Burns. I'll tell you what, you go to that car show of the park, and it is mm -hmm. some of the finest classic cars you are ever going to see I am anywhere. not a car person, but I, yeah. I will say that it's very enjoyable to go around and look at all the cool stuff they've got over there. Yeah. At Nash, at Sevy Coop, I'm sure we'll be over there. Vote for me. Oh. Send a real <laughs> clown to Washington, D.C. Okay, giggles and grins and clown friends. Here come the clowns with their smiles and big hearts. This hometown group has entertained throughout the Dayton area for more than 35 years. They've been awarded for their community service to hospitals and retirement homes, and they spread good humor and cheer wherever they go. They want to start a smile epidemic. 
Share oh, a like smile that. and pass it on. Yeah, we need to keep our sense of humor. That's for sure. And our faith. As we have Faith and Friends Radio.com now joining us. Writing in the Faith and Friends Radio.com car is uh, Melody Morris. I'm not sure she's writing in a car, but she's there. All right. And uh, the, the morning show co host with Bill Nance, of course, on the Christian Music Internet radio station, Faith and Friends, streams 24 7 on computers and smartphones and on the iHeartRadio app. So they're very easy to listen to. Her co-host, Bill Nance, is announcing the parade at the kickoff location, and he has done that for yes. years. There she is, riding in the truck. Oh, there she is, in the truck. Okay, you got quite a crew here today. Thank you, Melody. And, oh, yes, that chocolate fest, if you've ever been to that. The mm. chocolate, yes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So Melody, good. good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Faithandfriends.com. And here comes Dayton History. Carillon Historical Park is celebrating the amazing history of the greater Dayton region. The park is home to the Wright Brothers National Museum, dozens of historical buildings, a large scale railroad, an indoor carousel, and so much more. Uh, September 15th, Sunday, they are having the Dayton Concours d'Elegance Car yes, Show. Yes, very well said. That's got to be a real chore pulling that around. With all that wind <laughs> right? resistance. <laughs> Culp's Cafe was just there this week Ooh. in the trolley. What a great, great. So good. You've got to get their chocolate milkshakes. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Thank you all. It's Hi, Brady. Brady. Brady Cress up on the big bike there. Hey, Brady. <laughs> the very multi-talented guy. Not only the CEO, but also a bicycle rider. Risking limb for his visit today in the parade. Hey, Brady. <laughs> great to see you, man. Great job. Well, another favorite. I know you. You. It's just the the parade's not complete without this right. next unit. It's the Dorothy Lane Market <laughs> Umbrella Brigade, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. You know the Dorothy Lane Market organization was founded in 1948 right here in Dayton and it continues to be locally owned and operated by the main family although it started as a humble fruit stand just down the road Dorothy Lane Market has grown to become a nationally recognized gourmet grocer Dorothy Lane Market has three locations in the Dayton Ohio area and a, a future location in Mason and it's the DLM Associates who truly keep the gourmet grocer marching forward. And the Umbrella Brigade is composed of associates marching in today's parade. And they are led by choreographer Barbara Rethlake, a Kettering native. And they just want to say, hey, thank you, Miami Valley, for supporting the Dorothy Lane Market. of a group that incorporates a weather accessory <laughs> in their routine. Well, you would. <laughs> yeah, when you see them in the store, you can tell them, stop them and say, hey, I saw you in the parade. Thank you to Dorothy Lane Market. Coming up is the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 82. IBEW Local 82's electricians have been proudly powering and serving the Miami Valley for 108 years. Thank you for keeping the power on. And again, we want to thank Miami Valley Communications Council. Of course, they are broadcasting today's parade, and we welcome Miami Valley Communications Council broadcasting in high de definition on Spectrum Cable Channel 6 throughout the Miami Valley or YouTube. A lot of folks watch YouTube now, and uh, they're, they're certainly there. And you can search the mvcc.net and also 
please come to our Centerville studio to learn how to make your own TV shows. Hey, we're talking hometown celebrities, right? This is your opportunity to yes. shine with Miami Valley Communications Council. Their TV show, they even do podcasts too about non commercial items of interest free. Yes. And mention Holiday at Home for free it, registration. It is a great facility that they have oh, there, and they do so much good work. No doubt about it. Hey, I know you. It's Hi, Kelly King. Kelly King from Channel 2. She is riding with the Dayton Women's Club. Established in 1916, the Dayton Women's Club is a 501c3 nonprofit organization devoted to empowering women and strengthening our community educationally, professionally, and individually through historical preservation, public engagement, cultural activities, and educational programs. And Kim from Dayton Women's Club, good to see you as well, celebrating 100 years. You can go see the historic mansion in downtown Dayton on Ludlow Street and visit for lunch on Wednesdays. And our National Park Service Wright B. Flyer, the once third scale model of the Wright Brothers Model B Flyer constructed by the Wright B. Flyer organization that uh, fly look like flyers. The Model B was produced at the Wright Company factory in West Dayton, a part of Dayton Aviation Heritage National Historical Park that you see flew over earlier. Yep, and there goes Frickers, generous platinum donor. Thank you, Frickers, the home of food, fun, sports, spirits, and kids eat free all day, every day. And Iron Gate Incorporated Realtors now, our generous platinum donor. Yeah, let's hear Thank it for you, Iron Gate. With over 300 agents and six local offices, Iron Gate is Dayton's largest locally owned real estate company. They offer the most comprehensive and specialized real estate services available. And now for a special guest. This is the Shriners portion of the parade. <laughs> Rob Fickert is here joining me now with the Shriners. He's going to talk a little bit more about their wonderful organization and all they do for the community. Welcome. Thank you, Jamie. It is indeed a pleasure to be here. And yes, we are from Dayton and it's participating in the Holiday at Home Parade. Kettering is by far the best parade that we perform each and every year uh, out of 10 or 12 each summer. First passing was the parade escort that they ride their own motorcycles and American flag proudly showing in their bikes. The director is Bruce Adamson. Followed by that, in the mini Jeeps, the Legion of Honor is made up of veterans of all branches of our armed services. They carry flags of Antioch in parades and present the colors at the official meetings. The lead car, which carries the emblem of the Antioch Fez. And following that, walking down the middle of the street is this year's potentate, Bruce Ballman. The potentate represents the chief, chief financial officer, chief uh, organizational officer, and president of the shrine. It changes each and every year. Followed by the divan. The divan is the board of directors. Brian Ogletree, Kevin Smith, Joe Thorpe, and Aaron Roberts. Antioch's Devan, also riding on the long trailer, is the past potentates from the Antioch. Jamie, each and every year, the, the shrine, the purpose of the shrine is to promote uh, the Shriners Children's Hospital. Dayton is most fortunate as the newest shrine hospital throughout North America is located right here in Dayton. Located, it's a hospital within a hospital at uh, Kettering or uh, Dayton Children's Hospital. Children's, yep. The Angel Van that you're seeing past nigh transports families and children uh, to the air from airports to the doctor's appointments in Shriner Children's Hospital, supporting not only the Dayton Hospital, but also the one in Lexington, Kentucky. Here they are. Here they come, the Bobbies, dressed in the authentic English Bobby attire. They're your favorite Keystone cops as they ride their scat kitties. They have received many first place trophies for their daredevil choreography. Bringing up the rear of the Bobbies is the antique 1926 paddy wagon. Watch as they perform. I've had a chance to ride one of these uh, mini 
many bikes, uh, scat kitties, and it is most difficult. This group will actually start practicing about April every year, uh, once a week for the parade season throughout the summer. The director of the Bobbies, John Mann. And you've got your circus February 21st through 23rd at Hobart Arena. Yes, uh, Shrine does have a circus coming up uh, February of next year. It will be back at Hobart Arena. Antioch's Car Club. Here they come in the beauties with some of their wonderful cars of yesteryear and today's cars. They have to be a classic and watch as these beautiful cars go by. Many of these will be actually be participating in the car show later on today. Perfect. I love the big hands. Can't miss that wave. Beautiful cars. I see we have some of our past potentates riding in, in some of these vehicles. The director of the car club is David Stamper, Antioch Car Club. Following the car club is the Motor Corps. The Motor Corps is a combination of many different motorized vehicles. They are specialty vehicles with recognizable comic book characters or buggies, trikes, or motorcycles. The director of the Motor Corps is Gary Shiflett. Watch as they perform. The motorcycles being ridden today, as all vehicles in the Shrine Parade, are owner operated, meaning that the driver or rider is actually the owner of that and maintains that, that piece of equipment. Antioch Motor Corps. I stated earlier, the purpose of the Shrine is promotion of the 22 Shrine Hospitals throughout North America. A child or a family with a child can bring their child to the hospital and they will be treated regardless of their ability to pay. Shriner Children's Hospital. Following the motor car, the Fantastics. The Fantastics are another unit new to Antioch and are comprised of nobles dressed in some of our favorite fictional characters. Snoopy, how are you? The director of the Fantastics is Virgil Neal. Here they come, the most daredevil unit in the shrine. For the Drifters. Drifter Squad is one of the newer units of Antioch, sliding all around for your enjoyment. They ride those motorized machines like we are used to pedaling our little green plastic three-wheelers. Only they can go about 40 miles an hour. Antioch Drifters. And then we have another hospital van. Behind the hospital van are one of the crowd pleasers. The four-wheelers. Check out the four-wheelers are the mini Corvettes. We refer to them as little red cars. Watch as they screech their tires around the corners in precision mover, maneuvers. They are called the daredevils of the shrine and always a crowd pleaser. Jamie, these vehicles actually have fixed rear axles, meaning that they, the vehicle, when it's rolling, does not want to turn. So the way that they have to turn the vehicles is slide the rack end around. Antioch four-wheelers. Under the direction of Greg Burroughs. And the last unit of the shrine, the unique Clypey, has 90 years old. It's not just an ordinary pipe organ, but a forced air organ. 
It has over 40 keynotes. Stan Brookins is our Calliopus today. Welcome, Ga Stan. Gary Shifflin is the director of the Calliope. And the end of the Shrine portion of Kettering at Holland Day Home Parade is the Provost Guard. They are organizing the, the units as they prepare to uh, prepare for you. It is a pleasure being with Thank you. Thank you, Rob, so Thank much. Thank you both, and great Kettering at Home Parade. We appreciate all you do for the community. And it's so entertaining to watch. Oh, my God, it's Rob <laughs> Fickard. And the Antioch Temple Shrine Daredevils, man, what a great, great crowd stopper right there. And also, we want to thank uh, Norman E. Nelson, too, for being here. Thank you, Rob. Good to see you, buddy. All right, we continue on now. These are troops 236 and 237, the Kettering Scout Troops. More than 400 scouts have achieved their Eagle rank in Troop 236, and Troop 237 includes the first girl Eagle Scouts in the nation. You can see him at the car show for more information over at Phrase. And the Kettering Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts are more than just cookies and crafts. They camp and help the community. They learn and explore the world around them and have fun doing it. Troops are now forming. So if you have kids in the schools, just watch for information coming home from school. And you can also find them on social media. You can email girlscoutskettering at gmail.com for more details. Were you a Girl Scout? I yeah. was a Girl Scout. My mom was my troop leader. She's right there in the bleachers. With a bummed up ankle here. I, was, <laughs> I know. What's going on with that? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and to all the moms who help their Girl Scouts kind of start, that's a great place to create those friendships and lasting memories. Do you have any lasting memories from your Girl Scout days? Um, yeah, just like doing the crafts. I loved cool. that. She cool. still has some of my crafts. Do you still have your vest? I do not have my vest. I did not. I was particular about how things felt when you wore them, right. as my kids are too. Yeah. And it was um, not comfortable for me. Did not but like I did it. like right. getting the patches. Like yeah. that was always exciting well, to put a patch on. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's show equal time here. Cub Scout Pack 28. Started with Lutheran Church of Our Savior as a uh, family pack, including boys and girls from kindergarten through fifth grade. We meet at Southdale Elementary and have been serving Kettering since 1949. 75 years as a pack this year. And join at bascout.org. Thank you, Cub Scout Pack 28. Here is West Carrollton Marching Band. The West Carrollton Marching Band under the direction of Laura Bukowski with the assistance of Amanda Fenton and Abigail Matney. The band is preparing for their contest season, which will include the Mid-States Band Association circuit and a performance at the Bands of America Grand National Competition in Indianapolis. Led by drum majors Paige Morse and Nick Akers. been fun watching the construction of West Carrollton's new facilities too. Oh, yeah. Long overdue. Great to have everybody's participation from West Carrollton and the surrounding communities. Well, you feel it in the air. Jamie, it was amazing to me that we went from like 98 degrees one day down to like 78 the next Record almost. Record high. And yeah. then now we're sitting here kind of chilly. <laughs> it's chilly. I mean, it's like the turn of the calendar, like the, the weather knows that right? it's time for fall and it's time for Tom's Maze and Pumpkin Farm. My golly. Their generous platinum donations certainly appreciated. And look at this fine display of hardy folk ready for the fall, huh? The pumpkin train's in town. As always, we want to thank all of our active and retired military and first responders for their first service. Kind of a tribute from Tom's Maze and Pumpkin Farm, everybody. If the pool's closed, I want fall. That's, <laughs> That's right. kind of how I look Are at we, it. Do, do we have another heat wave in us? We have another 80 degree stretch in us, I think. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, all right. I don't think we'll do another heat wave, though. All right. Sounds good. We've had enough. <sighs> Here is Grace Baptist Church. 
Grace Baptist Church loves Kettering. It's the home of the Adventure Kids Club and Grace Teens, Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. They invite the whole family to come experience the love and life-giving words of Jesus Christ. You can learn more at gracekettering.org. They always have such a nice display. Thank you all for being with us today and for what you do in our community. Flying squirrels and river otters? Oh my. Grace puts a lot of effort into their float The guy on the back is so cool. Oh, look at that. He's Kids, don't try that at home, nope. okay? You don't want to do that. But it is an adventure with the Kids Club. Thank you, Kids Club. <laughs> and Ohio Garrison of the 501st Legion Star Wars co uh, cosplay coming into view now. The 501st is a nonprofit worldwide costuming organization that celebrates. What is the magic of Star Wars? You talk about another franchise that has spilled into another generation, huh? Last year, the Ohio Garrison raised over $10,000 for children's charities such as Make-A-Wish Foundation. If you'd like more information, it, uh, it's at Ohio501st.com. 501st.com. Okay. And the Knights of Columbus, part of the Kettering Catholic Community family, led by Father Tom Nevels, pastor, and the three Knights of Columbus, St. Albert, St. Charles, and Ascension of Kettering. They also have a food truck that is going to be over at the Holiday at Home Festival at the Lincoln Park Commons. And they are going to be in the same spot they were in last year. How many of you like a good book or two? How about Dayton Metro Library? The Bookmobile visits preschools and child cares throughout Montgomery County, providing story times and opportunities for young readers to select and borrow books. In addition to the Bookmobile, the Dayton Metro Library has 17 locations that offer computers, wireless printing, programs, classes, and a whole lot more. And we are so glad that the Dayton Metro Library is with us today. Here comes Paco, Puerto Rican, American, and Caribbean organization. This is uh, Charitable Services. They provide scholarships, promotes awareness, and educates the Dayton community and surrounding areas about Hispanic culture. Love, love, love it. Agape for Youth is a foster care adoption through foster care, family support, and bridges provider here in Dayton, Ohio, with a vision of serving youth and families with excellence. We thank Agape for Youth for being with us today. And it's just about that time. We have the sons and daughters of Italy. The John Pirelli Lodge of the Sons and Daughters of Italy in America was founded in Dayton 92 years ago in 1932. Since 1976, over 500 lodge members celebrate the history and traditions of Italian Americans at their annual fall festa, which I believe is next weekend. It's always the weekend after Labor Day. He's got his own script. Yeah. <laughs> As we continue now with AAA, 
Of course, AAA serves its members in a variety of ways. Travel insurance and financial services, and of course, the most recognized and most used is the fleet operations. AAA will rescue you at the side of the road, and it is important to remember to slow down and move over for flashing lights. But it's nice to know that AAA is there when you need them. And this may be the most quickly growing sport oh, yeah. currently. You play, right? I have played, yes. USA Pickleball Association, led by USA Pickleball Ambassador of Kettering, Ambassador Jerry Poff. Pickleball players from the Miami Valley say, let's play some pickleball and stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> And you can just go up to Kettering's brand new pickleball court facility. And even if you don't have a partner, you've never played before, you can find someone there to hit with for sure. Very welcoming community. The love bug is here. Yeah, here comes a real movie star, Jamie. He starred as himself in five films, made for TV movie and a TV series. It's Herbie, everybody. Herbie the Love Bug. Hey, Herbie is also a Guinness World Record holder. He was the first car to go through the Panama Canal back in 1979. The driver today, owner Rex Kendall and daughter Emily. It's Herbie the Love Bug. Show some love. Here. here comes the Greater Dayton Corvette Club, a nonprofit club with 159 members established in 1964. Not just a car club, it is a social club, and all Corvette owners are welcome. Love looking at all the different oh, styles from the different years. What's your favorite color? I like yellow. Yeah. <laughs> it stands out, you know, it's a sunshiny color. Yeah. It's a great day for a ride in a convertible. No doubt. Oh, man, a sign of summer. Top down, flags waving. I like the people that brought the big hands this year, too. I know. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like the black. That is sharp. All years, too. I mean, that's mm -hmm. an awesome display. Without a doubt, Dayton is a, is a hot rod city. We like our, we like our vehicles. And they're going to be over at the park today. Or phrase the, the car show, some of the best cars you're ever going to see. And maybe maybe you like to get off the road. You know? Maybe, yeah. The Muddy Buddies. Yeah, here we go. Celebrating their 20th year in the parade, the Muddy Buddies Jeep Wrangler Club is made up of 450-plus members who share the same love of Jeep Wranglers. They raise money for charitable groups like Pink Ribbon Girls. That's a group dear to, near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm and Blue Skies for Good Guys and Gals, an organization that provides support for wounded veterans and Gold Star families. Thank you so much for your service and your daredevil stunts. Can your car do that? Just helping a buddy out. I love the ducks. They get the 
you get duck. That's right. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a, a jeep thing. It is a way of life. Uh, yep, showing a little uh, camaraderie and how many ducks can you collect on the dashboard? I don't dashboard? know. I've seen quite a few. No doubt. That's fun though. That's that's what it should be. It's a big group. That one's been off-roading. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what we want to see. We want to see muddy buggies. Okay, that's that's going to get your attention. And following the muddy buddies, we've got a tiny monster truck. This is a half-scale. 1969 Z28 Camaro and a third scale Grave Digger monster truck. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Mini monster. Holy monsters. cow. Those are really neat. I've never seen such a thing. And Rob, why don't you tell us, Rob figured from Antioch, uh, why don't you tell us what we have here? Thank you, Dan. You mentioned earlier that Dayton is a hot rod city with their Corvettes, Jeeps, and fast cars. Well, that's true, but we also like boats. The boats you see passing now, by now are the Antioch, or not the Antioch, but the Dayton Motorboat Racing Association boats. These are inboard hydroplane race boats and will be performing at Cedars Creek later on this month. Just like the stock car race cars from NASCAR or IndyCar, these race teams all have sponsors also. I see out there Performance Chrysler Jeep, Apollo Propane, O'Reilly's, and Duncan Oil. As you can see passing by, these beautiful boats are of different sizes, meaning that they probably have different sized engines, which are different classes, just like diff with race cars or dragsters. I've seen video, and it's amazing. Uh, at the end of this month, these boats will be performing out at Caesars Creek State Park uh, for their annual Midwest Championship. The larger boats will reach speeds of 160 mile an hour down back straightaway. Yep. 160 miles per hour. September Caesars 20th. Creek closes down the state park twice a year, once before Memorial Day, once after Labor Day. These boats will be performing, before, will be performing after the Labor Day uh, parade, which is today. Dayton Motorboat Racing Association. Thank you. Thank you. Here we have Greater Dayton RTA. We welcome our friends from RTA. The bus featured in this year's parade is RTA's proudly serving Kettering bus. The bus design features places in the Kettering community where the RTA can take you and Bart Simpson. 
Did you know this character was voiced by Kettering native That's Nancy right. Cartwright? Yes, absolutely. This bus is a 40-foot diesel. And ladies and gentlemen, finally we have the man himself. What parade is not complete without Santa Claus kind of finishing things up for us, along with Mrs. Claus and an elfin friend of two. Of course, though, it's been busy at the North Pole making toys, toys for the upcoming Christmas. He stopped down to enjoy our famous holiday at home parade and of course to taste a few of our home-baked cookies. He's asked us to remind all of you boys and girls, both young and old, to always be good, to be kind, and to tell you that he'll see you in December. Thank you, Rob. Thank you all for being with us Thank today. Thank you to our Holiday at Home Committee members, Ed, the parade, head honcho. Thank you, Ed. Bruce Duke, our Grand Marshal Bruce this year. Duke. Thank you. A Dayton Area Radio Association, and Frontline Communications for Disasters, and, and letting us know when floats drop down. Right. <laughs> so we know. Aw, they are driving those carts for Marion's Pizza because the Marion staff is busy serving pizzas at this time. So oh, fantastic. Sounds good to me. Well, listen, that concludes our 2024 Holiday at Home Parade, and we want to thank Miami Valley Communications Council for always doing such a fine job of getting all the shots for us. For those who maybe could make it out, we do appreciate the MVCC and, and all the work that you put in. And Jamie, it's been a pleasure to be with you, my Hall of Famer. It's been a very fun morning here. <laughs> thank you for letting me cover up with the jacket. It was a little chilly with the breeze. Yeah. I appreciate it. Well, listen, y'all, thank you so much. You're always a, a fantastic crowd, so supportive of everything that we do throughout the year, not just today. But listen, you have a great time, a great year, and we'll see you next year at our Holiday at Home Parade.